just consider. Another example Krishna gives in the second chapter of Bhagavad Gita. Clothes. You change your clothes. Every time you put on a new shirt, does that mean you've changed your identity? No one thinks like that. Persons who are very much attached to clothes, they may say their mood has changed, but they don't say their identity has changed. So, clothes have a function. They have a role in life <laughs> for most people. Now, if you make the mistake of thinking the body, clothes, are the self, <laughs> everything you do is going to be problematic. You'll be trying to please your clothes instead of please the real you. And we can see this is what happens in society today. Instead of saying that we have a civilization of homo sapiens, better we say we have a civilization composed of homo economicus. <laughs> Human beings defined simply as economic strivers. That's all. <laughs> they think they have to strive economically as the main priority in life because they are misidentifying the clothes as the self. By this tragedy, they're ignoring their real needs. A society that ignores the real needs of its people, uh, how can it be a positive and healthy society? Therefore, you see so much inner poverty going on. Because of that inner poverty, lack of spiritual understanding, that is a major contributor to external poverty. I don't know who I am. I think I'm the body, and therefore I'm so greedy to satisfy this body, which is impossible. And I think I need to consume so many resources in the impossible task of satisfying this body, which I'm not. And therefore, I take more than my share of the world's resources, and I cause others to have less. In this way, so many imbalances in the world happen because of a faulty misconception of what the self is.